Hey guys, Cam here from PhoneDog.com and I finally have the LG G3 in its official Unlocked International packaging. We're going to unbox this, but first let's thank our friends at Best Buy. They did not give me this one, but they do regularly give us free phones to give away in our one port Bandit game. Now, Best Buy Mobile is known well for being a company that likes to make sure you have everything set up and makes the experience of buying and setting up your phone as easy as possible. So be sure to check those out and to go on our instant win game over at phonedog.com. Let's get to the unboxing. So this is the LG G3. This is is the official unlocked version I've got here in the UK and this one is the metallic black model different to the white one that Marco gave you his first impressions of earlier and the unboxing is kind of being done in the wrong order but we thought we'd give you this anyway show you what comes in the packaging now obviously on the front you have the device actually sitting front and center and it is LG's latest device now we're going to take that out and just pop it to one side but it is a really nice slim phone with a pretty good feel in hand at least on first impressions actually something that pleased me when I checked it out in the event in London now it does come in white and gold as well and in the packaging you get your usual guide like a quick start guide other paperwork underneath this compartment here is where we have all the usual cables adapters and earphones so in the packaging you also obviously you get your USB to micro USB cable in there because this is the UK model we have this three pin wall adapter obviously yours will look different like most phones nowadays it's just a standard adapter but then you plug your USB cable into the bottom end and you also get these quad beats headphones now these look and feel quite nice I've not had a chance to listen to them yet obviously but they do look like they're really quite decently made solid metal end on the earbuds nice silicon tips and it does come with some spares in the box as well just in case these ones aren't the right fit for your ears also in the box you do get this 3000 milliamp hour battery which should give you really good battery life when you have it alongside LG's uh, innovative battery saving techniques with the display frame rate changing and the rest of that. Now this back like I said it's removable so the battery is interchangeable you can get spares and replace it if you need to. And that back rear shell does feel quite thick and solid. It doesn't feel as thin and flimsy as maybe some other rear covers you might get from other manufacturers on the market. Now it's worth noting with this phone that the micro SD and the micro SIM card slot are pretty much in the same place. So you do need to make sure that you pop your SIM card in before you put your battery in. The SD card can actually go in at any time. The front facing camera is a 2.1 megapixel camera. So it's adequate for taking selfies and whatever else you want to do with your front facing camera. There's a closer look at your control button, the trademark LG button there. It is a really nice looking phone. I can't overstate that really. On the bottom panel, obviously you don't really have anything except that LG logo. And on the bottom edge is your micro USB and your three and a half millimeter headphone jack. So like I said, this is the metallic black slash gray version. Now on the back, what we have is a 13 megapixel camera but it's got optimal image stabilization built in so it should help reduce any movement that your camera makes when you're taking photos and you've got this true tone flash similar to the HTC One M8 and the iPhone 5S also this laser sensor here on the back should help focus really quick quicker than a blink of an eye if we're to believe LG and of course the power button and the control buttons up and down so I'll switch the phone on now what you see on the front here is the phone with the first Quad HD display. It's a 5.5 inch 2560 by 1440, giving it a pixel density of 538 pixels per inch. Now just so you can have a size comparison, I have the HTC One Desire 816 here, which also has a 5.5 inch display. And you can see LG's done a really good job of trimming away all the fat. They've done really well at trimming out any of the bezels and too much frame, too much plastic going on. Obviously the HTC does have stereo front facing speakers which makes up a lot of the room but it does feel like a much smaller and lighter phone than this. To bring in a direct competitor this is the Sony Xperia Z2. And you can see that size wise they're fairly similar. But the screen on the Sony Xperia Z2 is smaller. 
it's only 5.2 inches, so you've got 0.3 of an inch extra screen in a frame that's pretty much the same size, perhaps a little bit wider. Now, on the LG, you'll notice that the back is very nicely curved, which means that the edges feel really slim in hand and also makes the phone feel comfortable in general. And it is light as well. It feels sturdy, it feels light, it feels comfortable. And in my opinion, I think this metallic metal or metallic black version does look a little bit classier than the white plasticky looking model. But that's just my own personal preference. And the screen does look fantastic. It does come loaded with a Snapdragon 801 two and a half gigahertz processor. So everything should be fast and fluid. I'll get a better sense as I use this day to day. I believe Marco is working on a full review but this has been the unboxing and a quick look at the metallic black version of the LG G3. This is the official released one here in Europe. I've been Cam. I'm at phonedog underscore Cam on Twitter. Feel free to ask me any questions about this if you want to or use the comments section below. I will see you again soon.